Hi everyone, before we start looking at the CPU overheating issue, let's take a quick look at our system specs. When playing something like Fortnite on lowest settings, the CPU manages to reach temperatures well above 90 Celsius, even reaching 100 Celsius sometimes, which is very hot. Now the on-screen display that you're looking at is from MSI Afterburner. It's showing us our CPU, GPU usage along with the temperature and also the RAM usage and also the FPS. Now, just to make sure that what we are looking at is accurate, we can double check it with something like hardware monitor and also task manager. And the values that we see here, the CPU utilization and temperature is consistent with what MSI Afterburner is showing us on, on the on-screen display. Now, so we do have a problem. Uh, what we can do is take a quick look at the AIO itself. So I can hear the pump running. I can feel that it's fairly warm. I can also feel that the tubing is warm as well. So the heat is getting to the tube. And if we take a look at the radiator and feel, I can feel heat coming out here as well. So the pump is expelling the warm air, but to a certain degree. And the back of the CPU is very hot, not just warm, it's hot. So we do have a problem with the AIO. Now, that doesn't straight away mean that the AIO itself is broken, but I suspect that it's either badly installed or the thermal paste hasn't been applied properly or the thermal paste itself is very, very old. Now, let's open it up and if we take a look, we can see that the thermal paste is there, but it's very, very dry. So this thermal paste hasn't been changed for a very long time. So it looks like the AIO itself is working, but the high temperature may be the result of the fact that the thermal paste was very dry and it hasn't been changed for a long time. So what we are going to do is remove both the AIO and also the CPU, give everything a thorough clean and then reapply fresh thermal paste and then reinstall everything back. So once you've removed the initial thermal paste with a piece of tissue, next we're going to use rubbing alcohol with a piece of microfiber. Now you can order both of these online. I will provide links in the description. Just a quick side tip. If you do have rubbing alcohol at home, but you don't have microfiber, you can use the cleaning cloth for your glasses. If you have one spare, you can use that and that works just as well. Next, we're just removing the, disconnecting the fans from the, uh, the radiator fans and just give the whole system a quick hoover just to remove any dust or residue. Next, we're going to clean the AIO cooler itself as well. A similar process, the initial thermal paste, you can remove any type of soft tissue. Uh, hopefully you can remove it with the soft tissue. If it's really hard and difficult, you can use something slightly um, a hard or a paper towel to remove the thermal paste. Now, in my case, it wasn't too difficult. The thermal paste was already quite dry, so it didn't put up too much of a fight. So what you need to do is just keep rubbing it until you are no longer seeing any black residue on the piece of tissue. It's going to be the same process for when you're using the alcohol and the microfiber as well. So once we are finished with this, once you are happy with that, you can continue with cleaning the radiator and the fans as well. Next, we're going to reinstall the CPU back. So just sit the CPU in there, make sure that it is positioned correctly. Just give the CPU a quick rub, apply a very tiny amount of thermal paste. The amount I put was slightly too much. 80% of what I put would be perfect. Uh, now you can either, after you put the thermal paste, install the CPU cooler directly on it and it will spread the thermal paste evenly. Or like me, you can use a, a card to evenly spread the thermal paste if you do wish to do so. 
Now install the CPU cooler, position it, and then put two screws in diagonally so it doesn't move. Now once you've done that, you can put the other two screws in again, the uh, two corners diagonally. And once you've tightened those, get a screwdriver and finish the job and make sure it's really nice and tight. So it makes a nice and good uh, seal between the CPU and the uh, CPU cooler. Next, we're just gonna connect our two CPU fans next to the CPU, the three pin CPU fan headers. And if you've removed any of the other components like the graphics card, you can reinstall that back, slot it in, and then screw it back in. Once you've screwed it in, then connect the times two A pin power, the graphics card. Okay, let's launch Fortnite and see what sort of temperatures we get now. As you can see straight away, we are seeing a massive improvement in the CPU temperature. The temperature is staying stable between 55 and 60 Celsius. So it looks like applying fresh thermal paste has done its job. I hope someone out there found this video helpful. And remember, if you are using an AIO CPU cooler and you are having problems with it, it's always good to double check it and verify whether or not it's working to a certain degree, whether it's partially working or if it's completely dead. If it's completely dead, then yes, you will need a replacement. But if the AIO itself is working partially, then that may suggest that the AIO itself is poorly installed. So there isn't a proper contact between the AIO and the CPU or the thermal paste isn't applied properly. So it's not covering most of the CPU as it should be. The thermal paste itself is old and dry. And as a result, there's a poor heat transfer from the CPU to the AIO. Some of the checks that I carried out in the video, you can have a go at them yourself and check and see in which direction it points you to. That's all from me. I want to thank everyone for watching. Feel free to stay and enjoy the rest of the Team Rumble gameplay. Stay tuned for more upcoming videos. Thanks again, everyone. I wish you a great day. Bye bye.